everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me, Fire Mills. Time for another discussion about whatever we're going to be discussing today. And today we're going to be discussing uh, a question that was asked of me by Mr. Patrick Danzi from Scotland, I believe. We were talking on the comment section in my last video and he had a question. And your question, Patrick, was... We have a look. Hi, is there any chance I could request a video topic? I would really like advice on how to find transgender girls like yourself for dating relationships. I'm physically attracted to trans girls, but finding the needle in the haystack is proving more impossible. I live in Scotland. Where can I find girls like you and what advice would you give? I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Patrick, for your question. And yes, of course, I can answer your question to the best of my ability and knowledge, of course. This, as always, is going to be my opinion and my views and what I think the answer is. Personally, obviously, there is always contrary to the rule as it goes. So, right, so first you have to remember a few things about trans women. It's very difficult for us to meet men and it's very difficult for men to meet us because of stigmas on both sides. So that in, a certain, in itself is always going to be a problem for dating because... You know, guys may want to try and keep you a secret, not always on purpose. I understand that sometimes they have no choice, but at the same time, it doesn't make us as trans women feel very special or wanted even if we feel like we're a secret or we're being hidden because men are worried about what people will think if they find out that they like trans women. It's equally understandable on both sides, but of course, some girls are not willing to, to be a secret or anything and they won't date someone unless they are completely out in the open with that person and obviously that's a big um, thing to take on if you're a guy especially if you don't know if it's a serious relationship so you have to find a bit of a compromise but I digress anyway so the thing you have to understand with transsexual women Patrick I'm talking to you specifically because you asked the question um, is that and of course this is not always true but a lot of trans women are escorts this is our job because for whatever reason we found it very difficult to get normal work, um, or well, normal well-paid work, um, we don't want to be in environments where people are constantly staring at us or giving us funny looks or spooking us or just being, you know, extremely rude just because people feel that they can because trans people are nothing in a lot of people's eyes, you know, we're jokes, we're freaks or whatever you want to call it. So being around that kind of environment constantly is going to drag even the strongest person down. So a lot, and obviously not all, a lot of trans women are escorts. Um, and this is the thing that you're going to have to understand about trans women, is that this, with a lot of trans women, this job comes with them. So even if they're dating and they're in a serious, proper relationship with you, they're still going to be escorting because that's their job. Um, and I think a lot of guys find that difficult. So, you know, I'm just trying to say, if you're going to date a trans woman, then there is a chance that she may be an escort. Um, and you're going to have to understand that that's her job and has nothing to do with you and your relationship with her. That is just her job, um, the same as you have a job. So you're going to have to deal with that. A lot of trans women don't always go to trans clubs um, because a lot of trans women are living their life authentically as a woman um, and they're not ashamed of being trans, but they don't spend their life in trans clubs. They tend to go to normal clubs like any other woman would. Um, so again, you know, finding a woman out, a trans woman out and about, you may not realise that you have already met a trans woman um, because she hasn't declared it and you didn't realise, but you may have already met one when you're out in a normal club or bar or something because, you know, they're all around you, <laughs> slowly infiltrating. <laughs> um, the other thing as well is that um, obviously with trans women, um, a lot of guys' reference points to trans women is porn. Um, so I think a lot of men have a certain mindset about trans women as well, which, again, is, isn't always true uh, or most likely is, is not true. Um, you know, we are just very normal women like any other woman. Um, maybe, you know, we maybe we dress a bit more uh, feminine or, or a bit more in love with being a woman because we've had less time to enjoy it. So we maybe, maybe put a bit more of an effort in visually just because it's still very new to us. I'm not saying that women don't put efforts in, I'm just saying that it's still a newer experience for us because we haven't had it all the way through our childhood like other women have. Um, so I see, I understand that that's an attraction for men as well. I think you have to especially with social media now, it's all about sex and dick pics and, and send nudes and all this kind of stuff, which is not 
um, inducive to a, a, a long-lasting loving relationship, unfortunately. Um, you have to just talk to a girl, you know, start speaking to her. I think it's very important to explain your what you're looking for straight away. You, you're going to have to do this online, I think, because, you know, trying to find a, a trans girl, especially in Scotland, uh, walking about, I, I, I can't see the chances of being very high for you to bump into a trans woman in your area. Um, I would suggest um, there's a couple of dating apps. Uh, there's one called TS Dating, I believe, uh, which is like a, a, a global dating site with uh, men and, and trans women from all over the world on there that you can connect with. I suggest trying one of those sites first and seeing how you get on because, um, you know, it's always going to be difficult to meet girls and, you know, mess uh, adding them on Facebook or Instagram and stuff like that and then trying to send the messages about trying to go out with them and stuff I don't think that's going to work either because even like me I get a lot of messages on my social media uh, with questions like that and you know it's very flattering but you know we all have our, our types of who are interested in stuff and sometimes answering those messages can be worse than ignoring them because sometimes people get very offended if you turn them down uh, even even being as nice as you can, you know, it doesn't work. So I think trying a dating site where people are on there specifically looking for dating is probably your best bet online because I think, you know, messaging girls on social media, unless you already know them, they might get annoyed or find it irritating, uh, as anyone would if they kept getting messages from people trying to do whatever they're trying to do in private messages. Um, I, personally, I try not to entertain those too much just because, you know, it's difficult it's very flattering of course but you know we aren't for i'm not for everybody and everybody isn't for me you know it's just the way it is um and personally you know i'm just kind of staying out of all that for now i'm just enjoying my quite quiet time on my own um but yeah i would suggest trying a dating site uh online because and just be as honest as you can on there and, and just always be very honest about what you're looking for make sure you have pictures guys because you, there's one thing I've noticed with men, you expect thousands and thousands of pictures and videos and this and that from us, but when we ask you for one picture, you seem to always say, oh, I don't really take pictures that are having it. Well, it works both ways, guys. We want to see pictures of you, and recent pictures of you, not a picture of you in 1978. Um, do you know what I'm saying? You know, you expect all this stuff from us, and you know, we put, you know, like for example, it, for example I have like over a thousand pictures on my Instagram, and people, and guys still say to me, Oh, I'd like a private personal one of you just for myself. Well, darling, there's over 3,000 on my Instagram account, you know, have a look there. You know, I'm not going to, why would I be sending out private pictures to people when I already have tons on my social media? I just don't understand that. Especially when they have no pictures or just one or a picture of them with their ex-girlfriend that they've scribbled out. You know, not really what we're looking for, boys. I hope that's helped a little bit. I know I've digressed a little bit here and there on it, but I thought it was important to add certain aspects in because it's a very important thing, you know, the escorting thing to understand about trans women. Again, it's not all trans women that are escorts, but a lot are, and there's nothing wrong with that job. But, you know, if you're a guy wanting to date a transsexual woman, you need to uh, include that into it because it, it may possibly be a part of their life that is not going to be going away. You know, that's the job. So you have to understand that. I really hope that helped, Patrick. I hope it helped anyone else. If anyone wants to uh, add any comments or disagree with me or anything, then leave some comments in the bottom. Uh, again, I'd like this to be a discussion about stuff. If anyone else has any questions or that they'd like me to cover and talk about, then I'd be glad to because, you know, I can get more videos up a lot quicker if I have people giving me suggestions for videos because I've, I have, don't always have any ideas to talk about certain things and I'd much rather do a video about something that you've actually asked me to do than waffle on about rubbish. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. Lots of love.